And a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mm. Welcome to the Beats Plane series where I, Crafty, will show you how to make sense of a weird, odd timing sounding intro. Now, there are a few already that I've gone through. In this particular song, what a wonderful song. Everybody's got something to hide except me and my monkey by the Beatles. Everything has to be done for the monkey. What's actually happening is what sounds like that they're playing on guitar. It sounds like that that's the strong beat. One, two, three, four. Four. Two, three, four. At least that's what I thought it was for a very long time until... I went back and I had a listen and I slowed it down and I figured out that, ah, they're on off beats. <gasps> now, if you're not sure what an off beat is, it's basically everything that syncopation is all about. It's where you're not playing on a strong beat, a strong beat being the numbers, basically. One, two, three, four, they're your stronger beats. Whereas in between those numbers, you've got things called ands. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And if you want to be able to get a sense of where the timing is straight away, you've really got to be able to just make sure that that timing of all of these chords, one, two, three, four, they're on the ands, the in-between beats. Now, it's always easier to have a count in first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I were to just talk for a second and then just play it out of nowhere. Where does it feel like that the beat coincides with that riff? To me, just without any counting, I, I feel that it's one, two, three. So if you think that you're human like me and the wonderful thing about being a human being is that we are adaptable creatures. So being very deliberate in how you practice or how you even just listen to stuff is a great way to be able to mold and train your brain into hearing it as an offbeat. You are all very good players. We are, we are all, all very, very good, good players. players. So remember, a count in is going to help first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, all right. If you're sitting there watching this thinking, mate, you've only talked about the guitar and there's drums in the intro as well, and they're quite confusing as well. Hopefully this will be quite helpful for you to clear it up because, yes, for me, I found it quite a challenge as well. I'm a human being, and I've been listening to this song one way for years and years, and I had to try and get the old information out and the new information in. And the best way that I could do that was I slowed it down to listen to it. I just did that in YouTube with the playback speed function. But another thing that I did to take it one step further is I sort of reverse engineered the parts. And so I've got the guitar part here with a little click. And to make it really clear, I counted along with myself one two three four 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 now you've already heard that so i did one thing extra i chucked in an extra count which is going to be the key here it's going to be the thing that should just unveil everything let's see if i'm correct one and two and three four and one 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 yeah so if we just listen to this extra count by itself it's this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one the reason why i did that is because the drums 
are emphasizing some syncopated beats. I don't think we need to see that again. All right, let's see that again. The drums are emphasizing some syncopated beats. And so if we have a look here, we've got one and two and. So this is the second and that the snare is hitting. That was my big ah uh, moment for why I was finding it such a challenge in the intro because, you know, the backbeat isn't on the backbeat which happens straight afterwards. Come on, come on. Da -da 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 -da. It's on two and four after that, right? So in the intro, Ringo's doing a bit of a funny, sneaky, you know, kind of weird thing in a great way because without it, we wouldn't be here talking about it. So yeah, so it's on the second and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Once you know that and once you can feel it and once you can sense it without thinking about it, ha, huh, this would be no worries to get. But there's also this fourth and beat. So, or they and of four as they say. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's on the kick drum which will then go boom boom so i took the liberty of putting this into logic so that you can hear it with a counting two three four one and three and one two. now here's what it will sound like all together one and two and three Four and one, two and three, 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 four and one. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right. So let's just get rid of all of the counts so that you can feel safe in knowing that it is possible for you to do yourself in being able to keep up with where we're up to. All right. So we've got a click, click, click count in, but no numbers. See if you can keep up. Yeah, how'd you go? I'm gonna do that one more time without the count in at all, which is how the Beatles song starts. So when you're listening to the Beatles song, it comes in so abruptly, there is no warning, there's no count in whatsoever. So you've gotta be able to hear this and feel this without thinking see if just me pressing play on bar one it says bar two here of course but that's just because there's a counting bar see how you go just out of the clear blue sky can you feel it in the correct way it's easier said than done I think the best thing for me to just be really clear about for me is that it took me time to be able to unhear the old way and hear the new correct way. All right, so I hope you found this a helpful tip on how to make sense of the timing of the intro for everybody's got something to hide except me and my monkey. Now, there are a bunch of other videos here that will help other different intros. So go and check out some of the other Beatsplain videos here in the playlist inside the Crafty Music Tips YouTube channel. But before you go, I've got a little gift for you. Depending on where you're at with your musical journey, we all feel like that at times that we're just chasing our tail and we're not making the improvements on whatever the instrument is that we're learning or singing. And I feel that the reason why we're not really making those improvements when we want to is because we're just not really clear about what it is that we need to do. So to help make it really clear, I've just labeled the five steps that you need to go through in order to make good quality, fast improvement. And that's what I called the free ebook download. It's called Five Steps to Fast Improvement. So I'll leave a link for you to be able to go and check that out if you reckon that may be of help for you. So I'm out of here for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember that wherever you're at on this musical journey of yours, that you don't have to do every single thing right now. Just do the next thing. I'll see you soon. Cheers.